Hi, this is Ken. Oh, I'm here today because I was in the neighborhood. I had never been to one of these events before because they were always kind of inaccessible to me, being that I have two shopping carts. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm the Director of Programs at Project Homeless Connect. Everyday Connect is a program of Project Homeless Connect that works to link homeless and at-risk San Franciscans with the resources they need. Today, we've signed up a number of folks for assurance wireless telephones. We've also made several appointments for folks to come in and get advocacy around housing, employment, and shelter. I really think getting access to resources that are hard to get can really change someone's life. I think a pair of glasses when you can't see can really make a big difference. I think a phone so you can communicate with your family, again, makes a huge difference. and can really help people take the first step towards lasting change in their lives. Hi, I'm Leanne Krauts, and I'm a pharmacist paramedic here to take people's blood pressure and answer information and be a set of ears to somebody who needs somebody to talk. It's important because it's a life and death issue if they're unaware of where they are. Tomorrow might not happen, so it's, it's a pretty critical thing, and just having that awareness so that they can get treatment if they need it. Hi, my name is Denise and I'm with SF Path. SF Path provides health coverage for people and insurance later on. Everybody who's in SF Path will transition, automatically transition into Medi-Cal starting January 1st. Today I helped people, um, I mainly answered questions about SF Path and Healthy San Francisco and directed people to the right place. I wasn't able to sign anybody up today, but I did give people a lot of information on what they should do in regards to Obamacare. My name is Vince and I'm a portrait photographer and folks can get a free portrait and, uh, for, for themselves, to give to a friend, to give to a family member, to put on their mantelpiece, whatever they want to do with it. I just thought I was taking pictures for fun, basically. And then that first event, I realized that this is something that we can do for each other. You know, I've met folks who said, oh, you know, I, I finally have a picture I can send to my kids, I can send to my family. Hi, I'm Pastor Maggie from Old First Presbyterian Church. At Christmas, when we should be the most generous and our heart should be the biggest and everyone should get a little bit of peace. It makes people whole and it gets some services and then everyone's better. My name is Dan Solberg and I'm the pastor of St. Paulus Lutheran Church. There are, there are soup kitchens, there are, uh, there are presents that are provided, there are do-gooders all over the place, but the issue of vision is something that is ongoing all year round. And so we do it uh, we do it now, and we do it in January, and we do it each month through the year 2014, and we'll continue to do it. I uh, got notified as to when I can receive glasses, and uh, I got a bowl of soup. I got some clothes, I got chocolates, seized candies, and I got a pair of socks, which I came without socks today. I could be out there homeless myself, but for the grace of God, and so this is an opportunity for me to help those who are less able to help themselves at this point so that maybe they can end up in the position I'm in and have the luxury of being able to go out and do something wonderful like this.